Our victory shall be welcome news to the soldiers, and it is the first victory of many. Captain, I heard that you had just arrived. It is good to see you safe. Despite our victory, we bring unwelcome news. Black Garius was present, and possesses powers that can turn the battle in their favor. Garius can empower the dead, making them stronger. With that power, even their weakest foot soldiers become a threat to us. Large they may be, but skeleton bones will still break, just as rotting flesh may still be pierced. But this talk can wait for later. Come, you must all be hungry. Rest tonight. And we'll discuss today's events on the morrow. You are back. We were beginning to wonder with the sun so low in the sky. You... You are not seriously planning on fighting atop the walls, are you? Yes, there is. But you never seem to make the right ones. Sometimes I just wonder what's to be gained by you throwing yourself into situations like this again and again. I know the King of Shadows must be stopped, but I don't understand why it always has to be you. Look, come with me up to the castle walls. I want to show you something. Might put things in perspective. Do you see the sky? The way the shadows twine themselves with the clouds, with the wind. That will not last. It will grow stronger in time. The shadow will seep into the wind and into far lands. Not just in the mare. Not just in Neverwinter. Your battle is not simply for this keep, but for Faron itself. For its heart. I thought that such a task was my duty, mine alone. But after what happened with the circle, and seeing how the shadows seeped into them, it reminded me how my strong connection to you kept me from the same fate. You see, I think that in the years that I watched you in West Harbor, maybe I wasn't neglecting the mare at all, but seeing what could save it. If only the circle would realize it, that perhaps villagers dwelling with the land, that if one of them fought for it, if all of them fought as you did, then something greater could be achieved, and I wanted to thank you. Now, before the battle comes for us again. Also, I fear that I have not always been honest with you. In all matters. I... care for you. Not friendship, but deeper. It runs powerfully within me, and I have tried to fight it for some time. But such things cannot be held silent for long. Postponing what? I have no intention of letting you sleep. I think we can come to an agreement. Let us promise to speak no more until the morrow, and we shall enjoy what brief time we have together. <laughs>